What is up guys, Tech Bro Charlie here and welcome back to where we take awesome out of the box. Now today we're going to be talking about the Asus ROG Zephyrus S17. Asus has worked very hard to get their name synonymous with gaming. I mean, both my main monitors back there are from Asus, and I really love gaming on them. So I was incredibly stoked to try out the laptop from their ROG line. I mean, it does stand for Republic of Gamers, so you know, it's a beast. So let's not waste any more time. Here are five reasons why the Asus ROG Zephyrus S17 should be your dream end game laptop. Number one, premium build and convenience. So when I check out gaming laptops, they're almost always super bulky and really over-designed. But the Zephyrus S17 is something else. Not only is it slim for a gaming laptop at 19.9mm, but I love how minimalistic it looks compared to others. At least people won't just automatically assume you're playing games when you're in the office or in a cafe. And despite being slim and looking clean, features are loaded into the build. For the ports, you get the following. Two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports and a card reader on the right. While on the left, you get one 3.5mm combo audio jack, one HDMI 2.0B, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A, one RJ45 LAN port, and one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C support display port, not to mention one Thunderbolt 4 support display port. Both of the last two support power delivery or charging, so you can choose to charge with the USB-C or the standard way with the regular plug. Like I said, super packed and we're just getting started. Number two, all work and play. Now, before we get into gaming, I just wanna say that this laptop is also perfect for work, especially for multimedia work just like mine. You're getting a 17-inch display with cinema-grade 100% DCI-P3 color and Pantone-validated accuracy. Lots of words, but the gist is you get beautiful and accurate colors for anyone that works on Photoshop or who makes videos. And working is even better with the 125% larger touchpad. Which is something a lot of people complain about in laptops for being, you know, too small and hard to use. Partnered with that is the ultra-responsive, durable, optical, mechanical key switches. It may not exactly be a mechanical keyboard, but it does come close and feels really good to type with. And you also get AAS+, Plus, which raises the keyboard for a better typing angle and better airflow. Plus, you night owls will love the per-key RGB lighting on this too. It looks gorgeous and it's super bright. And for those work meetings, we get a 3D microarray and webcam with advanced noise reduction. Also, this is our child. Her name is Bernie. She's a hedgehog. It's short for Bernadetta from Fire Emblem Three Houses, and she lives with you right now. She's super cute. Number three, powerful audio. You're sure to love watching your favorite movies and Netflix shows with this because of course you're getting a beautiful screen, but let's not forget the six speakers powered by Dolby Atmos. That's two sets of force-canceling woofers, two tweeters, and dual smart amps. You can really hear the depth and audio thanks to these. And you can easily control volume with the multi-wheel which can be programmed to help you with other tasks as well. Anyway, here's an audio sample but again, I'm using a mic to record this so it's not exactly accurate. It sounds way better in person. Number 4, end game specs. Okay, here we go. We have a Core i9 11900H paired with an RTX 3080 at 140 watts with dynamic boost. And that comes with 32 gig of RAM and up to 3 Gen 4 SSDs and a Hyperdrive Ultimate RAID 0 array. In total, we have a massive 3 terabytes. That's enough for all the games and of course all the work files and programs you need for your laptop. But let's not joke here. Game, I did. I started chill with some Valorant and I don't know if it's the rig but I think I was doing better and that's probably thanks to the screen. 
We have a 4K Ultra HD screen at 120Hz at 3 milliseconds with adaptive sync. So you do have a killer edge against people with 60Hz screens because technically things do pop up on screen faster thanks to the screen. And the cool thing about the RTX 3080 is that it supports ray tracing. This uses AI to make realistic lighting conditions and reflections based on the environment of the game. Pretty neat. I tried this out on both Control and of course Cyberpunk 2077. They both support ray tracing after all. And my god, everything looked gorgeous. You also have Dolby Vision support for enhanced contrast if you want it. Plus, it features liquid metal on the CPU, which lowers temperatures by 10 Celsius on average, so goodbye to overheating. Hopefully. But yeah, you're looking at the gameplay, and needless to say, I was able to play in all the maxed out settings smoothly with no problems at all. Number 5. A Full Package so yeah, you guys basically know everything that comes packed inside the Zephyrus S17, but there's more. If you buy one, it comes bundled together with the ROG Ranger Backpack, ROG Delta Gaming Headset, and ROG Chakram Core Gaming Mouse. Everything you need to set up your battle station anywhere you go. It also comes with a Type-C PD adapter for charging using the USB-C ports, which I mentioned earlier. And whichever way you choose to charge, the 90 watt hour battery has fast charging tech so you can get from 0 to 50% in just 30 minutes. So you can work and game on the go without worrying about a thing. So there you have it. That's 5 incredible reasons why the Asus ROG Zephyrus S17 should be your dream end game laptop. And you can grab one for 249,995 pesos for the i9 version that has 32 gig RAM, 3 terabyte storage, and an RTX 3080. While that's 184,995 for the i7 version that has 16 gig RAM, 2 terabyte storage, and an RTX 3070. You guys can check out more reviews and unbox page. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yep, subscribe because when you hit 250,000 subs, we're giving away a smartphone. So don't forget to use the hashtag sub to unbox. Hit the notification icon if you want to get them updates when you drop videos. Once again, it's your tech bro Cholo and I'll see you guys in the next one.